What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're testing out a new product that I found online and it is this Amika blow dryer brush. It came in this set from Sephora. I saw an ad on Instagram and I was really interested. I like Amika and I love blow dryer brushes. So I was like, let me just give it a try. It was a hundred dollars just for the brush. So that is more pricey than my usual uh, blow dryer brush favorite, which is a Revlon blow dryer brush. That's, I think it's $30 or $35. Apparently a lot of stylists really like this blow dryer brush. So I wanted to give it a try. It is a round brush. So that's different. I don't really actually know how to use a round brush. So we're going to use it for the first time today. It has the rubber needles with the little balls on the end, just like the Revlon. But then it also has these like little four bristle brushes, um, in between. So that's definitely different. Either it's going to help smooth out the hair better. Or it's going to pull my hair out. So we're going to say I already washed my hair last night. I deep conditioned it and put my leave-in conditioner on, of course, melanin hair care on my hair. And I let it dry. It dried a little bit too much, so I'm probably going to have to re-wet it with some water. It comes with three heat settings. Low heat, high speed is to just make it like kind of sleek and finish it up. I'm assuming that's kind of like their cool setting. Medium heat, low speed is ideal for fine hair and for detail work. High heat, high speed is ideal for thicker coarse hair. Right off the bat, the heat feels even and the heat feels softer i remember the first time i used the revlon blow dryer brush when i turned it on i was like mortified by how hot it gets the heat here on the high setting feels very comfortable and it's not doesn't feel scary at all yeah it even smells good what's up with that okay amika it came with a dry shampoo i don't use dry shampoo don't need it um, but it also came with an anti-humidity spray, so I might try that one. Your girl, though, is looking for a good anti-humidity spray. Aren't all naturals? So I'm probably going to finish off with that. Let me read the directions before I just start making up my own. Shake and spray on damp, see, damp or dry hair before, you see, it's a good thing I read the instructions, people. It says shake and spray on damp or dry before heat styling. And you can use on previously styled hair to extend longevity. Cool. So I'm going to use this actually before I heat style. It does have dimethicone. So I'm going to clarify after using this. My hair is pretty. Oh, it's so soft. <laughs> it's so good. Melanin hair care. Okay. Check it out. Melaninhaircare.com. Okay. My hair is super soft right now. But um, I did have to respray it because it dried all the way and I do like to blow dry my hair on damp hair not soaking wet not bone dry but like almost dry I'm going to put on some heat protectant I'm going to use the Aveda Brilliant damage control per usual just three sprays my hair is also detangled so I don't feel like I need to detangle it I'm going to start off on medium heat because I always just like to see if I can dry my hair on medium heat before I go all the way too high. So I don't think I'm going to, but we're going to try. Okay. Wow, this goes through my hair really nicely. A lot better than the Revlon. I am shocked. If you guys have the Revlon one at home, you know how those balls kind of like yank at your hair a little bit? This is not yanking at all. It's so smooth. I was concerned a little bit about those little bristles, but no, it's good. Yeah, no, we're gonna have to go to high heat. <laughs> Let me listen to the directions. I'm gonna start from the bottom and work our way up. Just slowly pulling the hair through from bottom to top. The goal is to do as few pass-throughs as possible. I don't know how to use a round brush, oh my God. <laughs> First off the bat, my hair feels so soft. The heat on this brush is so nice. It's so gentle, but effective. And it dries my hair really evenly. I have a little bit of shed hair, but not too much. My biggest issue is I don't know how to freaking use a round brush. By the time I'm done with this, I'll probably figure it out. Beautiful job, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna do the other half of that twist. Just pray my hand so I don't get my other Hair wet. I'm gonna put my <clears throat> heat protectant on. Oh boy, my hair is mixing together. No. 
low, dry. I got caught. I didn't know what to do. I was <laughs> freaking out a little bit there. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I was freaking out. I'm all right. I'm gonna put on the humidity spray. Let me see how it comes out. Okay, it's gonna go ahead and spray it on. Okay, and then we'll, ooh, mm, smells good. Okay, lock it in. Ooh. I did something. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on low. Okay, I burned myself. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Oh, okay. All right, I don't wanna overwork this section. Let me leave my hair alone. Okay, this is cool though. The only thing that I'm noticing right now is that <clears throat> this round brush is so big and I like to do my hair in, in sections that it's hard to get at the like root here cause I don't wanna pull out my hair in these sections. So it's like a little bit fluffy, uh, puffy at the root. But I can probably go back in when I'm done to fix it. All right, let's move on so I don't pull out my hair. But yeah, it feels good. Very, very nice, very nice. Just clip it away from my neck because I am so hot and I'm sweating. And we're gonna do the same thing to the side, which is super soft. It feels so good, oh my God. I'm gonna spray this one with Heat protectant. I'm not gonna add any more water to this side. This one this side feels okay. And then I'm gonna go right on in with high heat because the heat is not as hot as the Revlon. It's more even, I feel like, but it's not, it doesn't get as hot. Which is probably a good thing. Styling with a round brush. Okay, I've established that. We don't do that well. I'm just gonna go through and blow dry my hair. I mean, not too much talking. Just let's get it done. To be honest, I'm not really enjoying using this brush. I feel like, I mean, my hair feels super soft and healthy, but I don't know if that's just from my super successful deep conditioning treatment or from the brush. So I'm actually going to grab the Revlon brush and compare them just side by side. I've got both brushes now plugged in and ready to go. This thing is so clunky. I guess they're both the same size, but because it's like round, it's just not like, I can't get it comfortably on my scalp. Maybe I'm just used to using the Revlon, I don't know. With the Amica, my hair feels more hydrated, less dry. I don't know, again, if that's just because of my hair treatments. So let's actually put the Revlon to the test. So easy to use. So you see I can get like right to the scalp with this? 
Again, it just could be that I'm not used to the brush. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna do the Amiga on this one. You guys can kind of see the difference actually with the Amiga side and the Revlon side. Okay, so this is the Revlon and this is the Amiga. So you see how much more hydrated the Revlon one is? Like this is, I'm sorry, the Amiga one is. Just look at the hair. So the heat is a lot better with the Amiga. Like it's not as frizzy. It doesn't look like as fried looking. Just when they're kind of sitting side by side, you can just see the difference of just how the heat is. And it does make a difference actually. When I comb them together, you can see the Revlon part really sticking out. I do think that the heat is better on this and also the bristles on the inside work really nicely to help smooth the hair and the cuticles. I guess I just need more practice <clears throat> working with the Amiga one. Going side by side, I'm very impressed with the Amiga. And this actually helps really nicely to smooth the hair down. Look at that, nice and smooth cuticles. You see the shine. It doesn't look dry or like wiry. Ugh, so sick of this gray patch, let me just put that over. So sick of you, gray patch. <laughs> I think it did an excellent job. My hair feels hydrated. My cuticles still feel smooth. And I mentioned that because that's probably the biggest difference that I see between um, the Amiga blow dryer brush and the Revlon blow dryer brush. In order to get my hair to feel more hydrated and smooth, I use the Revlon blow dryer brush on the low setting using low heat because it tends to dry and frazzle out your hair very quickly and easily on high but with the amiga blow dry brush the heat is just very even um it's hot like if i touch this thing i burn my finger which you guys probably saw it blows hot air but it blows it very evenly and it doesn't fry the hair the bristles in between the rubber bristles just work really well to smooth the hair down so the hair still feels smooth and moisturized one thing that you have to be really careful with with the revlon brush is that you don't keep it in one spot at any given time. You can fry your hair even more. 
I mean, I'm not trying to scare you. It's a blow dryer, so it's not like it's a flat iron. So when I say fry the hair, I just mean keeping like really hot heat on the hair for a very long time. I was keeping it in one spot sometimes to allow the hair to dry and I wasn't worried about it being fried. I was a lot more comfortable with the Amika br brush as far as heat goes. The two things that I don't like about the Amika uh, blow dryer brush is that it's so big uh, and round. Like getting at the roots of my hair just was a little bit harder. When I first used the Revlon brush, I wasn't used to it either. I had to learn how to use it and I've been using it probably for over a year now, so. It's probably just a learning curve. But then of course the other thing is just the price point. This is $100 and this one is $35. Now I really do feel like they are both worth the price. I feel like this is a steal at $35 to be honest with you. And I feel like this Amiga blow dryer is definitely worth $100 based on how the hair looks, but most importantly, how it feels when you're done with it and just how it keeps your hair healthy. It doesn't sacrifice the health of your hair just to get it straight or just to have it as a style. I think they're both great brushes. This is about the Amika brush though. So I do think that um, the Amika brush, this is a great brush. The hair overall looks really good and it feels really good. Hair health is very important to me. Even my grays look good. I think I'll probably reach for this instead of the other one just because I really like how my hair feels and i do feel like after i use it for a little bit longer the learning curve will be gone and it won't even be an issue anymore and this is the hair that came out which was pretty much all shed hair it was all long pieces um it didn't break any hair off as far as i know like there's still roots on the ends you probably can't even why am i why you, you can't see the root of my hair just trust me when I say there's a root on this hair this brush is really easy to clean I mean I just got it so we don't have any of the issues that we usually have with the Revlon brush with all the gunk on the inside it's just thing is like almost impossible to clean and I still have hair stuck inside of it it's gross <laughs> we don't have any of that issues any of the issue here even though this is brand new so who knows what it will look like over time but I was definitely able to get all the hair out of the brush after using it without any issues it still looks good let me talk about the um, anti-humidity spray I liked this now I don't know if it's going to protect it against humidity because I haven't gone outside yet but what I do like is how it like smooths the hair down after I used it my hair definitely looked visibly smoother and it wasn't like a hair serum where if you put it on your hair kind of gets a little bit heavier almost like you put an oil on it so it smoothed the hair but it didn't add any weight all right I think that's everything guys now I know that this is like another blow dry brush um, but you know, it's always nice to have options. If you already have the Revlon blow dryer, keep using it. I still think it's an amazing brush. I've used it for over a year. If yours breaks down and you decide that you wanna try something else, maybe you have a little bit more money to spend, you wanna maybe protect the hair health a little bit better. If you go ahead and buy the Mika blow dryer brush, you wouldn't be wasting your $100 because this brush is worth the money. It works very well. It works just as well as the Revlon brush if not better than the Revlon blow dryer brush with the added benefit of protecting your hair health and the heat being a little bit more even to work with. It's up to you. It's up to what your personal hair goals are. I'm just here to test out products that I think were interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to head out. I'm going to probably put my hair into two French braids because I got to go pick up my kids from school. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in the next one.